Okay, I get this request all the time. Hey, Walt, you know, hey, it's anyone can operate and make great contacts from the ocean. Why don't you get off the beach and uh, go inland and do something? Well, today is your day. If that's you, this is your video. I'm in the backyard. I'm up against the house here chilling. I'm building an antenna. I'm not really building it, just putting it together. I've got the ARRL Mamo Beam. This is a 10 meter Moxon and a six meter two element Yagi. I've got it up. I'll show it to you. We'll get on and have some fun on the 10 meter band today with the ARRL Mamo Beam. Okay, it is a beautiful fall afternoon. And here's the antenna. This is the Mamo Beam Italian built antenna that's exclusive for the ARRL. I'll put a link below if you're interested in this antenna. But um, it is awesome. Took me a little while to put it together. Um, it is a portable, you buy it for portable or for permanent installation. I've got it set up portable. The difference is I've got wing nuts on it and uh, you could take it apart. Uh, my advice, it took me about 45 minutes, a little over maybe 45, 50 minutes to put it together the first time. I think if you buy this or get one, keep that center, all the center parts together, just pull the, uh, the elements away from it, pack it and go, probably get it up in 15 minutes. But there you go. Now I've got it on a, uh, on a tripod mast. Optimal height for this thing, from what I understand is 15 feet. I'm uh, unfortunately, only at about 12. That's as high up as I could get it, but hey, we're gonna have to work with what we have there. The outer, you see the outer uh, rectangle there, the box, that is the 10 meter Moxon. This is all uh, aluminum construction there. 10 meter Moxon, the two inner parts, that is the forward is the uh, driven element and the back is the reflector for a two meter Yagi for a six meter band. I don't know if six is open today, but we'll try that as well. But there you go. I don't need guy wires right now. Like I said, it's about 12 feet up in the air. Coming over here, here's my setup. Still have my beach chair. I'm gonna operate with my Yesu FT710. Few reasons. I want the power for sure, but uh, this is also has the six meter band on it. So uh, I'll get on there with that as well. Check the SWR, it's looking good. At least I could check it for the 10 meter band which is probably all we're going to be able to do today we'll see but um here you go there is the mamo beam if you can see it kind of a bright day the mamo beam from the american radio relay league let's get on and have some fun if you're really looking at uh, a little bit more in-depth video on this as well my friend steve Goodgame has taken this thing out a few times i'll uh, link you over to uh the arrl videos that he's done you can see that as well, but um, not a hard thing to put up. I honestly think uh, this would be great for a long field day or maybe a de-expedition or something. Have you pack it up and go, but it looks like a pretty awesome 10 meter antenna. Let's go, let's go make some 10 meter contacts. And oh yeah, I always jinx myself. I'm not gonna tell you where I got it aimed. We'll talk about it afterwards. Every time I say I'm aiming there, it never happens. So let's go have some fun. Kilo four, Oscar golf, Oscar. Yes, this is Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar. The name is Walt Whiskey Alpha Lima Tango. You're a 5757 five, into Virginia, East Coast, USA. Okay, Walt, uh, thank you very much for giving me a call. Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar, Juliet 88, Papa India, five, five, seven, two, 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 two. QSL 557, Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar, Golf Alpha Oscar. Oscar, Kilo 4 Ocean, Germany Ocean. Ah, ok, ok, 73, uh, you're still on 565657 from Colombia, uh, glad to meet you, thank you for contact, QSL. QSL, QSL, thank you, you're a 5657 five, here in Virginia, USA, I have a uh, beam, I have a uh, Moxon beam aimed right at you, so good to make contact with you there, my friend. Uh, thank you, man, thank you for contact, glad to meet you, 73, bless your family. Thank you, bless your family as well, 73. Secure the axe, 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 Secure the
Alpha Uniform A2, Biscay Charlie Bravo. Kilo 4, Oscar Golf, Oscar. Uh, kilo 4, Oscar, thank you. Obrigado do Brasil, Roger, Roger. Roger, Roger, thanks for Brazil. Uh, wonderful making contact with you there, my friend. You're 5758 uh, as well. Okay, that's the name of Friday. Good day, 73. Obrigado, good luck. 73. Well, you guessed it. I'm aimed at uh, South America and the Caribbean. Man, that's cool. And what's really surprising, I was like, man, there seems to be no one on here. I went and took a look. Yeah, conditions aren't that great right now. So to make those contacts, especially in the Caribbean there, St. Vincent, that is so cool. Um, I'm really, man, I, that was that that was worth the price of admission right there. All right. Uh, I think I may now kind of go back and turn around and uh, and aim it in a different direction and uh, and maybe call CQ. Let's go. Uh, let's go play around a little bit. This is Kilo 4. Oscar, Golf, Oscar calling CQ. Anyone, anyone? Kilo 1, Delta Lima Yankee. Kilo 1, Delta Lima Yankee. Kilo 1, Delta Lima Yankee. Wow, beautiful signal here. I am portable, uh, kind of backyard portable in uh, the east coast of Virginia there. Back to you. Yeah, Walt, well, we know who you are uh, in Texas. Uh, you're 5959, great signal into a park. I'm just set up for Polar today at US 6557 Fort Griffin. Uh, your signal fantastic and thanks for the video. So back to you. CQ, CQ, CQ. Kilo 4, Oscar Golf. Oscar, anyone, anyone? Whiskey X-Ray 5, Mike. Whiskey X-Ray 5, Mike. Wow, wonderful signal. Thanks for coming back. Roger that, man. You've got a strong 5-7 with excellent modulation into Louisiana. K4OGO calling CQ CQ for anyone, anyone. November Zero Zulu Hotel Echo. November Zero Zulu Hotel Echo. Hey, thanks for coming back to me. I'll give you a signal report on the next go round. Yeah, QSL, uh, you're peaking about 5 and 9, peaking 5 and 9 here into the state of Kansas. Uh, Kilo Sugar, my name is Greg. Golf Romeo Echo Golf. Good deal. Yeah, you're 5 by 7. I'm just on a 75 meter loop that does not tune up well on this band, but I thought I'd try it. Well, you're peaking up at 5.9 and you sound great. You have really good audio here in Virginia. Good deal. Yeah, you're peaking 5.9 sometimes too, so good deal. I'm glad to finally catch up with you there. 7.3. This is Kilo 4, Oscar Golf, Oscar QRZ. November 0, X ray Romeo Golf. November 0, X ray Romeo Golf. Hey, Roger, Roger, man, 5'9", you got a great signal. On your side of Houston, Texas, Tango X-Ray. The Golf Charlie Hotel. Kilo Juliet 5, Golf Charlie Hotel. Hey, Paul, I've got you about 5'7", in North Texas, QSL. QSL, QSL, you're uh, peaking at 5'5", five, five, between 5'3", five, and 5'5", five, five up here in Virginia. Whiskey 5, Tango, X-Ray, X-Ray, you jumped in there first. Good to make contact with you there again, my friend. Uh, I got you at 5-9 into Rockwall, Texas. Roger that. Hey, I got another operator here if you're uh, ready for him. Yeah, go right ahead. Kilo Juliet 5, Mike Tango Yankee. Kilo Juliet 5, Mike Tango Yankee. Yeah, you're out of 5-5, five, 5-6 five, right here. Oscar QRZ. Kilo Delta 5, Romeo, Foxtrot Golf. Kilo Delta 5, Romeo, Foxtrot Golf. All right, so much fun. I'm having a blast out here. I know it's not going to happen, but I'm going to give it a shot. Let's go jump around on the six meter band and see if anything, if we can make a contact on six, I will be like over the moon. I will be so impressed if I can, if this antenna can get me a six meter contact on uh, in, in the early November. <laughs> well, let's go look. Hello, this is Kilo 4, Oscar Golf Oscar, standing by and listening. Kilo 4, Oscar Golf Oscar, is there anyone on frequency? Anyone on frequency? This is Kilo 4, Oscar Golf Oscar. CQ, CQ, CQ 6 meters, CQ 6 meters. This is Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf Oscar calling CQ, CQ. K4 OGO calling CQ on 6 meters and listening. K4 OGO, KE4EB, uh, name is Sid. I'm in Virginia. How copy? Copy you, copy you. Well, I'm in Virginia as well. I'm in uh, Portsmouth over on the uh, east, east, southeast corner of Virginia there. What's your QTH? I'm in Newport News, over. 
<laughs> well, we're pretty close to each other then. But hey, I, I came here to see if I could get make a contact with anyone on six meters, and you just happened to be here. How cool is that? Pretty cool. I just uh, <laughs> How awesome was that? Yeah, um, Newport News, he's very close. He's not far away from me at all. But uh, hey, I can't believe it. We made a contact on six meters as well. I'm having so much fun. And I tell you what, looking up at this antenna, man, it is so sexy. What a beautiful antenna. Uh, let's go back. Uh, let's get back on 10 and, and play around a little bit more. Just do some hunting. I might move it around, move the antenna again, and uh, I can go do some hunting and see what's going on on 10 meter band. For Oscar Golf Oscar, I'm portable in southeastern Virginia with a Moxon, and I'm aimed at New Zealand. So, uh, portable with a Moxon, uh, aimed at New Zealand, if anyone can copy. Okay, I got you now that I turn the house around. This is Kilowatt Echo 5, Foxtrot November, and I understand you are Kilowatt 4, Oscar Golf Oscar Portable with a Moxon in Virginia. It is your turn to give a call. Just put your call out twice and ask the question, who hears me? Roger that. This is Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar K4OGO. Who hears me? You're a 5 and 4 in California. I know you're in there just from New Zealand. 5 7 in Houston. So what all did you hear, Walt? I heard 5-4 uh, California, I heard uh, Houston, and I did hear New Zealand. That's where I was really, I aimed right at New Zealand, so I wanted badly to make it there. Yeah, you got a Gonzo report out of New York, a plus 20 report out of New York, and you're about 5-7 with the house pointed your way. Uh, Moxon's doing a good job on a fairly measurable day. Roger that, and it's a portable. I've only got it about 12 feet off the ground. I wish I could get it higher. Hey, thanks so much, guys, for letting me check in. I know I'm not near a computer, and you guys, uh, I, I really appreciate you helping me out there with that one. Everyone have a great day. 73, I'll keep listening in. Hey, that's what we do here, so it's all part of the fun. Thanks for, uh, thanks for swinging by, and I hope you can join us again, Walt. Well Wow, what a fun time. That was great. And that was an activity group uh, check-in, and then you see how many people hear you. Uh, I was heard in New Zealand, so that's cool. I, I had the uh, thing pointed right at it. Man, this is a cool, I mean absolutely cool antenna. So cool looking as well. Very affordable uh, from the league. Uh, look into it if you want something. I tell you what, um, this backyard, I, I, I will spend a lot of time here. I might put that thing up permanent. <laughs> I love it. And it was really a, an amazing, uh, I get a rotor for it instead of going out there by hand and twisting it around. I get a rotor for it. I think I'm going to install that thing portable, a permanent. I love it so much. What a great, great, ex, great antenna. Uh, a lot of fun. Uh, link below if you're interested in it. Um, like I said uh, earlier, I'm building it. I, I think uh, it took me 45, a little over 45 minutes to put it together, but that's because it was the first time. Um, you could just take off the ed the end parts, you know, store them away, and then carry that centerpiece and go out portable and put it together. You probably get it together in 15 minutes. I wish I had a little bit taller mask because you know, being down kind of low was uh, tough, but um, man, that was a fun one. It really was. And I really enjoyed it. I can't believe I made a six-meter contact today either. But even though it was close, that was a lot of fun as well. Anyway, guys, I, I'm enjoying playing with a lot of different antennas. That's what this channel is all about. So um, if you want to go back and look at some of my simple verticals and stuff like that, or follow along on the journey, I've got this thing I'm calling it Leave No Antenna Behind. I'm trying to play with every different type of antenna I can. I've got a few more, quite a few more uh, planned uh, coming up here on the channel. So we're going to see a lot of different antenna builds, uh, a lot of antennas that are, are, are built by others that I'm playing with. We're going to have some fun. If you're into that, please, uh, please subscribe. And uh, I got so many people that watch that aren't subscribers. Other than that, guys, if you're not a member of the league, the ARRL, consider that as well. And go to their site if you're interested in this antenna. It's awesome. Till next time, I'm Salty Walt, K4OGO. Stay salty, my friends. 73.